This update is all about preparing for the growing season. You can watch us prune the fruit trees, prepare the first beds in the market garden, seed and plant the first veggie plants and build a planting table. And yes, we have a drone now. This is the hill behind our house and the place for the future food forest. Now we take care of the fruit trees, which are already there. All it takes are some pruning scissors, a lopper and a saw. The goal is to free the trees from some dead wood and give them some air. Last but not least, we process the branches to wood chips. They will be later on repurposed as paths in our market garden. We've had some really sunny weather in the last two weeks and it feels like spring. Nini and me finished the layout of the vegetable beds, which we're gonna have 36 of this season. Our old tiller finally got repaired, so we got to use it for the very first time. As you can see, it was rather driving Wolfie instead of Wolfie operating the tiller. This month, we're only preparing six beds, which we're gonna plant in March. While our awesome neighbor helped us transport the compost to the field, we put a 15 cm layer of it on each bed. This has got to make our veggies happy this season! The beds measure 75 cm times 10 meters, and we left 45 cm for footpaths in between each bed. The footpaths are covered with wood chips to keep the soil from drying out and growing weeds too fast. In the end, we covered the prepared beds with a decomposable mulch foil. And in the very end, we had to make sure to have enough drone captions of our work. Here you can see the growing process of some pumpkins seeded in mid-January. They're doing well in the shelves we built some weeks ago. If you've seen the last video, you could see the process of that.
It's time to separate the little plants into their own small pots. By now, the greenhouse is warm enough to keep them from dying. doing some more seeding. This time we planted more pumpkins, tomatoes, zucchinis, cucumbers, red cabbage, capsicum, eggplant and so on. This project starts with sorting through our wood piles. Unfortunately a lot of them had way more warm infestion than we thought, so we just could use pieces of it. Most of it was cut on site to be fired later on in our wood stove. We drew up a little design that we liked for the feet, which we want to do out of the scrapbook that we found, ending up dumping all of these ideas later on, as we found out that the little wood that we were left with wouldn't fit the profile of the feet. Believe it or not, these were the best parts that we find in this pile of wood and still you can see some rot and warm holes in them. We decided to continue and try to follow through with this project. First we start to cut those boards into smaller and better handleable uh, slices and later on plane them down to the thickness and the wideness that we can use them. On that step we already cut away everything was too heavily infested with worms and rot. We ended up with some nice boards, but still you can see that there are a lot of warm holes in them, so we will have to treat them later on. It starts the quite tedious process of planing the thickness of those boards. It's always easier doing this together. Next we were looking through the boards that we left with and found out that our old design wouldn't work. So we had to improvise a little bit and came up with a new design. I was drawing out which pieces we could use and then he cut them to length so that we can put them up in a glue up pattern. Here you see close up with what we had to work or decided to work here. 
most of it was infested on the same level, so we ended up with a lot of small pieces. Mm -hmm. We dry fitted the pieces together and then glued them up. After the glue dry hardened and I did some rather sketchy work on the table saw, we were able to round over the corners. And for educational purposes I didn't film any of my table saw madness. At this time we realized that we wouldn't be able to do the rest of the substructure from the table out of some old wood, so we took some of our new wood pile and fastly created those legs you see in the background and the rest of the substructure. Some of the old and crooked large facades that we had laying around were used for the tabletop then. After some sanding we started with the surface finish. As this is going to be a work table mainly for our plants, we don't really care too much how it looks, it should be rather resistant and strongly built, that's the only thing we're going for here. <laughs> 